da, 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 da. I have a big date with Liz tonight, Garfield. What do you think of my outfit? <laughs> I don't have to take this. No cat is going to make a fool out of me. One, two, three. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Garfield and friends. Friends are there. To help you get started, to give you a push on your way. Friends are there. To turn you around, get your feet on the ground for a brand new day. They'll pick you up when you're down. Help you swallow your pride when something inside's got to break on through to the other side. Friends are someone you can open up to. When you feel like you're ready to flip. When you've got the world on your shoulder. Friends are there to give you a tip. Friends are there when you need them. They're even there when you want. For a walk in the park, for a shot in the dark. Friends are there. I don't care. But friends will care. Today, featuring Binky the Clown, so turn up the volume, kids. <sighs> Another day. Time to show my face before my adoring public. Hello, world. Garfield is here. Oh well. What an adorable oh, 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 Hmm. Probably all had to go someplace. What an adorable. It figures. Dumb people like dumb animals. I have a special treat for someone. Special treat? I hope it's lasagna or chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Or maybe both mixed together. Here you go, fella. Oh, John's always been so nice to me. So caring. So thoughtful. I hope your teeth fall out the day before Thanksgiving. Hi, Floyd. Haven't seen you on the show this season. I said hi, Floyd. Yikes! Oh, hiya, Garfield. Even mice don't notice me. Hey, how's Odie these days? How's Odie? Why don't you ask how I am? Nobody pays attention to me. This cat's got a severe attention problem. This is one of those days when it doesn't pay to get out of bed. Maybe even one of those weeks. Oh, and I got you a new pet bed, Odie. Now, where should I put it? Pet bed? I'll just get this old thing out of the way. Taking my spot? That was the last indignity. Oh, 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 oh. Let me amend that. That was the next to last indignity. Let me amend that again. Some people like dogs. A lesser cat would feel threatened by Odie's popularity. But I'm too big to let it bother me. Besides, my favorite show's on. Ladies and gentlemen, Odie and friends. Odie and friends? We are very close to the end of civilization as we know it. What a disgusting, insulting, unfair TV show. Bet it's a hit, though. I'm not gonna take this sitting... I'm not gonna take this sitting down. I think you need lessons in how to get noticed. You know how? 
Sure, people jump on chairs when mice walk into a room. Let me tell you what to do. The first thing to remember is that uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Worth a try. Um, squeak, squeak. Big mouse present. Very big. We'll just have to try harder. Ah, you got me, Louie. I'm a goner. <coughs> I'm checking out. I'm through. I'm history. I'm past tense. <coughs> One second. Yo, Effendi, which way to the pyramids? Are you all right? Maybe you're coming down with something. Maybe you should be in bed. Leave it to me. I'm going to make you a household name. All right. If no one's going to notice me, I might as well take advantage of it. Garfield, wait! Garfield? You know, I realized I haven't been paying a lot of attention to you lately. I apologize. He likes me. And I made you this lasagna to show you I'm sorry. Lasagna? After all I've just eaten? You don't want lasagna? Garfield, you must be sick. I'll get you right down to the vet. She'll give you a shot or something. A shot? No, I'm okay. Don't be concerned about me. Pay no attention to me. Garfield. Pretend I'm not here, because I won't be. Garfield! Garfield, where are you? Garfield! You see, it's like I told you, your name is a household word. Yeah, but so is garbage. Any more of those bread crusts? Yeah, you want pumpernickel or white? When they're this old, it doesn't matter. Uh, what you reading, Lawson? The weather forecast. According to this, there's a 30% chance of thunder and lightning. Oh, no! <laughs> I... I... I better go before it gets me again. No! Stay right there, Wade. You're safe there because lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Uh-huh. Gee, thanks, Orson. It's good to know I am safe, because lightning will not strike this spot. Orson, <laughs> do pianos strike twice in the same spot, huh? Uh, 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 quick, Orson, drink some of this orange juice. It'll help cure your cold. There's no cure for a cold, because a cold is a virus, and medical science hasn't found a cure for viruses. You're Orson. Like, try some of this hot soup, man. The saying is, starve a cold, feed a fever. No, it isn't. It's feed a cold, starve a fever. How about feed a rooster, starve an egg, shell brain? It cover up so you don't get a chill. Yeah. I'll just fluff a pillow for you. We're just trying to make you feel better, Orson. I know, but I think I need some rest and quiet. Besides, if you stay around me, you'll all catch my cold. 
Oh, th th that's right! Germs! Germy! Ah, save me from infection! Well, that's gratitude for you. I don't think Orson meant to hurt our feelings. He's just kind of spaced out today because of his cold. Space, the final frontier. Slide Trek, adventures in space. There's swine mess all over the place. They'll go exploring where no one else will. Things were just fine out in space until. Adventures are bold. This all started with a common cold. Finding another world unlike our kind. We're lucky that it's just in our sense of mind. So I try. Captain's log, 230,467.95. Let's have a report from engineering. Yeah, like I just synchronized the dilithium carburetors, and I was thinking that maybe, you know, we could, like, chrome the valve covers and paint flames on the side. Hello? Hello? Who's there? If this is a crank call, we just got a distress call, but there was a lot of static, and then some clicks, and then they hung up. What do you think that means, Wade? How should I know? I'm a duck, not the Wichita lineman! I've pinpointed the area where the signal originated, Captain. It came from the planet Deneb-92. Surely we're not diverting our course to find out who made that call. Since our five-year mission is to go where nobody's ever been before, we must check it out. And don't call me Shirley. What did he say? It was, that'll teach you to shut your beak, capitalist comb head. Set a course for Den of 92 and arm the photon tomatoes. There may be porcons in the area. If you're all here, who's running the ship? Don't worry, I put it into a parking orbit and there's an hour on the meter. You can't do that! Uh, what if the space co-op calls while we're away? Bo, Roy, Lanolin, Booker, you'll all have to go back. We never get to go anywhere. Yeah, some people have all the fun. What did he say? He said, like, what a bourgeois bummer, man. Flunked Russian at the Space Academy, didn't you? According to my data, Denim 92 is a Type 2 planet. The chief crop is rutabagas, and it holds the galactic basketball record for the most number of personal fouls in one season. Yeah! Can we get a reading on this, Science Officer Sheldon? It is a pool of viscous mineral and silica-based planetary matter infused with a liquefied hydrogen oxygen, also referred to as a hog waller. We'd better be on the lookout for porcons. <laughs> we lured Orson and his crew here with that phony distress call. It will be the ultimate test of our new porcon secret weapon. Fascinating, Captain. There are porcons in the area. I believe they are watching us. Attack! The porcons are attacking! Your ray blasts are of no use against us, space scum! <laughs> we, we come in peace. <laughs> Get your hands up! Are they up? Fire the photon tomatoes! Photon tomatoes, away! Hold on, tomatoes! Radioactive space ketchup! Let's get out of here! What, 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 what's that object they dropped? Three to beam up with a porcon object. Surely you're not gonna bring it aboard! 
We've got no choice if we want to find out what it is. And stop calling me Shirley. It looks like something from a laboratory. Wait! Don't open it! Dream. Hey, I think my cold is gone. I guess rest is the best medicine. <laughs> Look, everybody, I'm all better. We all caught your cold, Orson. I'm sorry. Hey, like it's not your fault, man. Yeah, you warned us. You better stay away from us this time, or you'll get sick again. Maybe not. I have an idea. <laughs> Anyone want any orange juice? Orson, could you bring me a cough drop? You know, oh, that's 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 nice. Nice. Space thanks to space technology, I can wait on you guys until you're all better. Oh, please have some hot soup. <laughs> Surely. You gotta have some dishes. I do. And don't call me Shirley. Hildy, do you know what they put in dog food? Ingredients. Lizards, yak lips, caterpillar fuzz, Duck feet, gum that's already been chewed, aluminum siding, and some stuff you wouldn't even want to know about. Garfield, we're all out of cat food. You'll have to eat dog food today. Okay. What's with Odie? Oh. Must have been something he ate. Did you know that fire hydrants contain compressed water? That's right. Many people foolishly believe that these things are connected by pipes to water lines buried below, but we know better than that. All fire hydrants are manufactured at Heidi's Hydrant Heaven in Walla Walla, Washington. There, each hydrant is filled with 100 gallons of compressed H2O, specially formulated to extinguish fires. The hydrants are then bolted to the street for convenient use by pets. <laughs> you don't believe me? Uh-uh. Remember, audience, if you heard it on television... It must be true! Yes, it must be true! The show that tells you all sorts of incredible things which, since they're on television, must be true. And now, the host of It Must Be True, Garfield the Cat. Thank you, thank you. We have a great show for you tonight, folks. And I just want to remind you of our motto. If they say it on television, it, it must be true. true. Here's our first incredible revelation. There's no such place as Wyoming. Think about it. Have you ever met anyone from Wyoming? No, oh, now that you mention it, I don't think I've ever seen a Well, there you are. The myth of Wyoming began in the year 1789, when the great explorer and map maker Arbuckle Vespucci was designing the United States. Let's see. I'll put the Oklahoma here. Uh, then I'll put the North Dakota here. No, 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 no. Maybe that should be near South Dakota. See, ha, ha, that's a good. He had some help from his faithful and handsome cat. You dropped a visa. Oh no! I don't have a room left for those two. Hey, and no sweater. You just put Alaska up here or someplace uh, and stick this Hawaii uh, out here someplace. Uh, simple. Bellissimo! I have a design of the entire United States and... Uh, oh no. I left a teensy tiny little square empty out here. And I'm all out of the states. Hmm. No more states, uh huh? 
How about another of Carolina? No. I know. And so the cat wrote in Wyoming, an old Italian word meaning no state here. Wow. 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 So there's no Wyoming. And remember, if they said it on television, it must be true. <laughs> When no humans are around, cows discuss English literature. I felt that in Midsummer Night's Dream, Shakespeare postulated an interesting dichotomy. Uh, excuse me, the farmer is coming. As you were saying? Well, I feel that there's a basic dichotomy. Ooh. It must be true. You know how they make raisins? Don't believe that story about sun-dried grapes. Actually, they shrink down bowling balls. Like this. Voila, a raisin. It must be true. By law, all footstools are required to contain orange juice, toast, and sausage patties. It must be true. Remember, you can believe everything you ever hear anyone say on TV. No one on TV ever lies. For our last item tonight, an incredible but true fact about dogs. Dogs have no brains. Observe this x-ray. See? Nothing. Nada. Empty. The lights are on, but nobody's home. Remember that, folks. Dogs have no brains. If we say it on television, it must be true. <laughs> No brains, and they and they never harm cats. Because cats are poisonous. Chop a cat and you die. All cats know karate. Dogs love cats. It's true. Help! I will never lie again. That's right. He will never lie again. And remember, if they said it on television, it must be... Oh, shut up.